Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. Support this channel by subscribing and hitting the bell icon because it will be the only way you will be updated whenever we upload something new for you. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation. Thank you so much for the support. In today's video, we are going to look at the salary of a security guard in Bahari. One person or most of you would like to know what is the salary of a security guard in Bahrain. Remember, Bahrain is also one of the countries in the Middle East, which is also a final destination, which is a destination for most people that wish to get money that is tax-free at the end of it all. Remember, we are talking about countries in the Middle East and what opportunities are available in these countries in the Middle East. What are the opportunities? But remember, each of these countries we get to talk to, we are talking to countries that have what you call different, different uh, labor laws, and that is what I tell. I I will talk about all the time that when you get a visa to move out of your country to go to another country, it is either a privilege and a responsibility. And what am I talking about? It's a privilege for you to have that visa because not everyone can have the visa. You have the visa, but again, what is your responsibility? Your responsibility lies within your hands how to take your care of yourself know the do's and don'ts of those country of that, those countries that you go to such that you do not fall a culprit or you do not fall in trouble because remember when you fall in trouble the law does not exclude or does not know i do not understand i do not know you'll probably have to face those penalties so most of these countries in the middle east or in the gulf as people may say when we talk about them they have different salaries per each occupation and they have different requirements per each occupation so your requirements at that time for that particular job is going to save you to give you exactly what you have most of the time when we look at the recruiting agents or the recruiting manpowers they never have to tell us the right salary or they never have to tell us what exactly is the salary because they are also part of the business or they are also doing what we call business in any way or the other but in case you get this kind of job because now the opportunities are right after getting through what we call the COVID-19 there's a lot of information that you can share out not like other people or not like people like us that came before we do not have that kind of information for people to let us know what is happening so the salaries of security guards in this Gulf countries depend accordingly. And to some extent, there are Gulf countries that are very strict with what we call the requirements. Uh, the requirements, the experience, the education, and the experience for that particular good job, that means that you will owe the requirements, that means it will be a little bit a higher salary at the end of it all. So comparatively, I think we've tried to look at all the Gulf countries and you know what I'm talking about. You can compare the salaries. Let us try to see what is the salary of a security guard in Bahrain and what does he and what do we expect. Before we try to go into further into the details and try to see what is the salary of the security guard in Bahrain, we are going to try to see what is the lowest salary, what is the average salary and what is the highest salary. I think it is going to give you the right figure, it's going to give you the right image and you know, the right information and you know this is what I need and this is what I have. Remember the lowest salary in Bahrain is 220 Bahrain dinar and the average salary is 450 Bahrain dinar and the highest salary is 700 Bahrain dinar. All right. The lowest is 220 Bahrain dinar then the average is 450 Bahrain dinar then the highest is 700, uh, 700 Bahari dinar. What am I talking about? Those are the averages that we are talking about. Yes, we talk about the averages. Remember, these averages we're talking about. Oh, what the kind of salary you get? It will include your housing. It will include your accommodation. It will include your transport. It will also include what you call the other benefits that may be given by that particular country or that particular company and sponsor. I beg your pardon. 
So what does it mean that for you to get that average of 220, 450, and 700, the other requirements that you need to have. First of all, the requirements that will be how many years experience do you have in that particular position or that particular role that you want to do? What is your education experience or qualification? Then what another one is will be the skills, the gender, then the location of a particular place at the end of it. Remember, some of these security locations are, have different working hours. That one may be an increase in a little bit of what we call the overtime in case your company has to offer for you for that. But again, the major issues or the main instant, uh, focus should be on what we call the education experience. We look, at the, uh, we look at the gender, we look at the qualifications, and we look at how long you've had or oh, how long have you ever have you been in security? Remember, each different year, uh, will, different years will give you will mean a higher increase in uh, will go a higher increase in, in salary in most of this what we call in most of uh, these Gulf countries. So, if you are going to work as a security guard in Bahrain, just know that the minimum salary that you can get depending on what are your requirements that are the requirements for that specific role or for that specific security uh, duties that you are going to do the smallest amount of money will be 220 Bahrain dinner you can try to convert that to dollars and to try to give it the right figures or you can convert it back to your home currency then you know whether it's a good money or not then if you are going to hand the, the what you call uh, the average, which is 450 uh, Bahrain dinner, you can also try to convert it and it will give you the right figure of what you're supposed to get. Why? Because this is going to, to give you exactly to, to, to give you that position that either to take up that opportunity or not to take up the opportunity. Then, when we look at the other scenario, which is giving us an amount of 700 Bahrain dinner, then you definitely know your experience must be between 10 to 20 or must be 20 years and above experience in that role and definitely also your level or qualification or your level of education should also be high. That is why these other countries are so much different from what we call Qatar. Qatar does not normally consider what you call the qualification or education. You can take up the opportunity for security card, you can take it up, anyone can take up the security. So it will be after completing yourself of the contract with that company, then you can try to upgrade yourself. But anyone can do security in Canada. That's a very good thing. They are not yet strict for that matter. But for the Bahrain, they will look at your experience, uh, if they are to want experience, education, and other requirements will determine how much you are going to receive a salary. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting Max. It's Max from the Max Creation. Remember, the latest updates will always come to this channel. By the way, don't forget to give that a thumbs up. If you see the video, the content is very good, give it a thumbs up. Put a comment in the comment, drop a comment in the comment section. I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. Thank you so much. See you again in another video as we try to see more of the other opportunities.